Hey Google Workspace Admins, welcome back. Uh, this is Goldie again. In the previous videos, I showed you what this tool can do for you. It's called G License Manager, how it works. And assuming you have already installed the tool, you understand how it works. In this video, let's talk about how you can leverage it to bulk assign licenses to a given number of users right from your Google Sheets. So for that, assuming you have the sheets installed, uh, you will come to 3.2, which is assign sheets. And then here you will need to provide two pieces of information. First is user's primary email address, and second is license to assign. So uh, maybe I can pick a couple of users from here. So maybe I'll pick, let's say, uh, these two users, okay, frontline worker users. And I'll come here and I'll say these two users license to assign uh, before that I'll just give you a quick piece of information so first of all if you see a user can have only one SKU okay within a given product ID so if you look at it if the user has you know, this is product ID Google Apps, product ID Google Apps, product ID Google Apps, product ID Google Apps. That means these four, they fall into one product ID. So, and then they have these many SKUs, right? So any given user can only have one of these licenses. So if you have already assigned, for example, let's say a business starter, you cannot assign uh, Enterprise Plus to that user. In that case, instead of assign you will need to update the user license that i'll show you in the next video how you can do that with this tool but for now what i'm doing is um, i have a frontline uh, worker license assigned to these users and if you look at it frontline is part of uh, google workspace or sorry google apps product id so we need to assign him something else right education i can try but you know i don't have education uh, access uh, so maybe what I can do is I can take cloud identity, right? So we can assign cloud identity premium to this user or maybe we can do Google voice license. So to assign cloud identity license or any license that seems uh, a fit in your case, what you can do is instead of uh, juggling around these, you know, uh, long product uh, SKU IDs, I've created a simple way, so if you go to sheet number four, which is already inserted by the tool, you will see the short formula uh, here. So let's say if you need to assign somebody uh, frontline, just type FLW. If you need to assign Enterprise Plus, just type E Plus. So in our case, we are gonna assign CIP, which stands for Cloud Identity Premium, to these two users. So I'll come back here and I'll say assigned CIP, okay? and then go to extensions, license manager, 3.2 assign licenses, click on it, it will loop through and it will assign these CIP licenses to it, okay, which it did. So now if I go to my user here, FOW1, and if I scroll down, you will see that this user along with the front line now also has cloud identity premium. So this is how you can use this tool to uh, assign licenses in bulk. And you will get an error if you try to do something which is not available within the assign function itself based on the API. So for example, let's say this user already has frontline, right? What if I want to assign him, uh, where is Enterprise Plus, right? So I will go to license abbreviation. I know it's called E Plus. So I'll just come here, assign, and I'll say assign them E Plus. And ideally, I should get an error because this user already has Frontline, and Frontline and E Plus are part of the same product ID. So I should get an error. I'm just trying to show you so that if you come across this, then you realize that you're doing something wrong, which is not allowed based on the API. Okay, so if I go to assign licenses, you will get an error which will say, well, user already has a license of the product, but with a different SKU, so that's not allowed. So you cannot assign one more license within the same product ID, okay? So what you need to do in this case is, as the API says, use the update operation that I'll show you in the update video. So you can do such things, but with the update function. So for that, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video. 
and I'll be happy to collaborate with that. Thank you so much.